Hey guys, welcome back to the Prometheus series. So far we have seen how to scrape metrics from different types of targets and how to instrument an application to generate custom metrics in Prometheus format. However, there are certain places like Linux systems or MongoDB that cannot be instrumented directly as we don't own them. In this chapter, let us explore what exporters are and how they help in this case. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let's say we have a node and it has specific metrics such as CPU usage, memory usage, etc. However, we can't give these metrics directly to Prometheus as Prometheus expects the metrics in a specific format. So, before sending these metrics to Prometheus, we should write a program to convert the node metrics to Prometheus understandable metrics. This program is called an exporter. More specifically, a node exporter as we are exposing the node metrics. Now, Prometheus can scrape the exporter metrics instead of scraping directly node. In summary, these exporters help us fetch existing metrics from the systems, then convert them into a Prometheus compatible format and finally expose them via an HTTP endpoint so that Prometheus can scrape on this endpoint. Just like this node exporters, there can be MongoDB exporters to convert MongoDB metrics to Prometheus compatible format etc. Luckily, these exporters are already developed by the community and we can use them as they are. We can find a list of already created exporters here. However, we can also create our own exporter for which Prometheus as a support. Out of these exporters, the popular one is Node Exporter, which collects system metrics for Linux and other Unix servers. So now let us see how Node Exporter works in action. If you are following this series, we installed Prometheus with Helm Chat. The node exporter is already included in the Prometheus Helm chart. We can verify that by listing the pods in the monitoring namespace. As you can see, this is the node exporter pod running. This is created because of daemon set. We can list the daemon set, kubectl get daemon set in the monitoring namespace. As you can see, this is the node exporter daemon set. If you don't know what a daemon set is, please refer to the daemon set chapter of the Kubernetes series. In that video, we also discussed how to install node exporter manually in Minikube. For now, let us use this node exporter which is already installed as part of the Prometheus installation. We can also find the node exporter service by listing the services in the monitoring namespace. As you can see, this is the node exporter service. Now let's port forward this service and access our node exporter. kubectl port forward service slash service name. Let's access this on 9100 port, which is running already on 9100 port in the monitoring namespace. So now let's go to the browser and access local host colon 9100. As you can see, this is the node exporter UI. Let's go to the metrics. And as you can see, these are the metrics of our nodes. If you can see these metrics, these are in Prometheus understandable format. Now this node exporter is automatically scraped by the Prometheus because of the service discovery. If you don't know what service discovery is, please refer to the service discovery chapter of this series. We can verify that by getting the service definition in the YAML format. As you can see, this annotation is present on the node exporter service with which this node exporter will be scraped by the Prometheus. Now let's port forward the Prometheus server to access the Prometheus UI localhost. 1990 and let's try to access this metric which represents the number of seconds the CPU spent in each mode. So let's go here and enter. As you can see our minikube node was idle for these many seconds. So now let us see how to calculate the CPU usage of all the nodes. For that all we need to do is use this formula. If you want to understand what this formula is please refer to the PromQL chapter of this series. So basically here we are calculating the instant rate of the node CPU seconds in the idle mode and finally we are averaging it by instance. So this gives us the CPU idle time and then we are subtracting from 1 to get the CPU usage time and finally we are multiplying it with 100 to get the percentage execute. As you can see this is the CPU usage percentage and similarly we can get the memory usage with this formula. So basically what we are doing here is we are getting the free memory in the last 10 minutes and we are averaging it over time and also we are doing same for the cache memory and the buffer memory and finally we are adding these three values to get the free memory and then we are dividing that value with the 
total memory. So this gives us the free memory percentage. Then we are subtracting it from 1 to get the memory usage and finally we are multiplying with 100 to get the percentage. Let's execute it. So this is the memory usage percentage of our node. As a homework, you can try to monitor GitHub repositories with GitHub exporter. I am sure that you found it informative. Stay tuned for more such cool content. My name is Pavanil Tepu and thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the content, please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any updates.